Pearl Boyder with Remos Aircraft. Tell us a little bit about the things that have been going on for the past year. I know you've got a new uh, sales center open up in Central Florida, and you're working with Lepresti. What's, what's all that about? Well, there's a lot of excitement. We've uh, opened up a Sebastian, Florida location, mm -hmm. and uh, the first Saturday of every month, we have an open house with Lepresti. Uh, pilots fly in from all over the state. In fact, we have pilots, pilots come in from all over the country. A free breakfast, a great one, usually a speaker. Patty Wagstaff's been there. We have, uh, I mean, named speakers, and it, it's been a lot of fun. But part of the outflow of that has been a kind of a collaboration between Lepresti and ourselves in that they are looking at ways to actually make the aircraft more efficient and we can't say faster because we're 120 knots is as fast as they're supposed to go. But we promise we're going to pull the throttle back and only go 120 knots if they make some really great uh, efficiency <laughs> uh, moves on the airplane. We're also looking at a number of things that we've done that we feel are very exciting. Uh, we've joined forces with Glime. They do our uh, pilot training materials and so forth. They've actually come out with a simulator that a student can take and after about four hours with an instructor he'll be proficient enough to where he can do the lessons himself. There's something like 27 lessons on there. So rain or shine the student can continue his pilot training and that's one thing that we're hoping will really help with the, the pilot dropout problem that all of us are facing. I mean right now about 80 percent believe it or not, of the people who start pilot training drop out before they get their licenses. So we're really looking at that as something that we need to attack and we feel like this is a good way to do it because now whether they have inclement weather or not, you can continue with your lessons and continue on track and not uh, create that frustration level of not being able to proceed that a lot of pilots experience. Let's talk about some of these things from Lepresti and then we'll come back to the, the training as well. Okay. But what is Lepresti working on to make this airplane more efficient? There are a number of things that, to be quite frank, don't matter with a light sport because uh, we are limited to 120 knots and the 1,320 pounds. But there are also things that uh, can easily be done to, to clean up the aircraft. One of the things that they're experts in, of course, is carbon fiber and fiberglass. They've been doing that for years and they have a pedigree of being able to improve performance for all different types of aircraft. They're looking at our wheel pants to make them more efficient. They're looking at gap seals to give us more efficiency. And they're looking at the seats to try to make them more comfortable. I think the seats are fairly comfortable as they are, but uh, that's one of the things that in the course of our surveys that we've done, people say they want a really comfortable seat. So uh, they're looking at making improvements along those lines. And they're just tremendous supporters of the whole light sport industry. And so we're just really tickled to be uh, neighbors with them right there in Sebastian and we working together. What would that do to the overall cost of the airplane? We're not thinking it's going to do anything because these are going to be aftermarket changes. So this would be a program to where they would work with us, we let them use our aircraft, and then Lepresti would sell these modifications to actually improve the aircraft the way they do the other mods that they do for everybody else. Let's go back to the flight training aspect of things. How are you being received in the flight training community as a primary trainer? There's two sides to that coin. Number one, it's an expensive aircraft. We honestly believe it's the highest quality airplane. And you're looking at probably at our lowest entry point level about $127,000. So for a flight school, he's got the decision to make, am I going to spend forty or fifty thousand dollars for an older aircraft, refurbish it and use that, or am I going to go for a modern airplane and take advantage of the fact that, uh, that it is a modern airplane and the clientele that it will attract. The people who've made the decision to go with our aircraft are absolutely thrilled. We've got uh, some folks out in Colorado who are using two of them. They've completely abandoned all of their kind of aircraft for the primary pilot training. They use nothing but the Remos and the clientele they're bringing in, the number of hours 60 to 80 hours a month in both of their airplanes, uh, you know, they couldn't be happier. The one thing is the cost of operation, the low fuel burn, uh, it, it, it papers out to where it makes a lot of financial sense, not only for the student, but also for the operator. Rob Boyder with Remos Aircraft, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. You're welcome, and thank you for visiting. Aero TV is brought to you by Freedom through innovation. It's what led us to develop Cirrus Flying 2.0, the framework for a bold new take on private aviation. And as a result, the gap between the aircraft we produce and those of our competitors continues to widen. Cirrus knows where the personal aircraft industry is headed. We're already there.